Miss. Head coach Scott Berry, third baseman Danny Lynch, three for four tonight at the plate. Tyler Stewart, one and one third innings pitched. Christopher Sargent, first base, three for four at the plate tonight. Tournament MVP, congratulations, Sarge. All tournament team for Southern Miss, Tanner Hall, Hurston Waldrip, mentioned Chris Sargent, Will McGillis, and again, MVP, Christopher Sargent. Coach Barry, just your emotions right now. Talk about the fans. Just talk about the time on, your, on the field. Just your opening comments. Well, uh, just so blessed to be here today uh, and, and, and with these young men and, and the rest of their teammates. And I just have been a part of a lot of special teams before, uh, in all honesty. But as a head coach, I think certainly this one tops it. I mean, they just have stayed the course. This whole thing started last year, I felt like, uh, as it carried over from, from the Oxford Regional last year when we battled to that championship game and fell short. And certainly the guys that returned from that team, they didn't want to have that taste in their mouth again. And, you know, we've talked a lot about steady wins the race and, and you know, and, and play an even keel. And that's exactly what these guys did all year long. You don't win 47 games by riding a roller coaster. Uh, you know, you win 47 games by understanding there's ups and downs and that you have to go out and you have to play every game, one game at a time. And certainly this, this tournament defined that. You know, we got the opening day win against a tough Army team. Uh, you know, we go against LSU and the winner's bracket and we get a gut punch there and, and we let one get away from us. You know, the first, first one that's happened in 30, I think we were 37 and 0 leading after eight innings in in the in the year. So, you know, it's, it's something that we had not had happen at all during the year. But then we had to really simplify things and, and take it one game at a time, knowing that we had to win against Kennesaw State to get to game two on on Sunday against LSU. And you know, we're three outs away from being eliminated by by Kennesaw State in that first game yesterday. But we found a way to win it. Gave us momentum. We rolled into last night, knowing we had to win that one to get to game three today for the deciding game. And uh, those guys didn't disappoint. You know, we, uh, we found the perfect storm yesterday in Justin Storm. And today, our guys rode that storm into, into, into this contest, knowing that every, every, everything mattered. And uh, they just stepped up. I mean, I don't. Our, our staff stepped up. You know, our coaches. I can't say enough about Coach Al Strander, Coach Creel, Coach Brewer, uh, Keller, BJ. All those guys that work with these young men day in, day out. There's a great chemistry not only between the players, but between our staff, us as a staff, and then the staff, and and all the players. You know, and that includes the equipment. Uh, uh, that and I'm sorry. That includes our strength coach our trainers, our managers, everybody. So the fans, what can you say? I mean, all kinds of records broke this year. Season ticket records broke. Uh, single season attendance record broke. Certainly, this is one of the top attendance records in, in, uh, in regional play this year. You know, I would think we'd be in the top five across the country, in all honesty, with that. And the energy that our people brought uh, and the passion that they've had all year long certainly showed up in this one. All right, questions from the audience. Coach, can you just conceptualize the fight in LSU every single game this weekend? You know, they were never out until it was over. Can you just kind of articulate it for us? Well, understand we beat a very good club um, two out of three times here, and, and they did not go away, as you saw in, in every game. They are a class program led by Jay Johnson. Um, I'm, Big fan of his and just how he goes about his business. His players are professional, you know, and how they go about it. It was a good – honestly, I kind of look at us and them as a kind of a series when it all – when it came down to it. Not that the other two programs aren't very good programs and led well. It's just that we saw LSU more and I could evaluate it and how the whole 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 program is run. And certainly they're, they're one of the tops. And uh, I feel for them. I've been in that situation over there. I understand it. Um, sometimes things aren't fair, but, um, you know, you move on. But I do want to congratulate them on, on the great year that they had and what they, what they were able to accomplish. Tyler, Leah Van, Baton Rouge Advocate. You worked that final 10th inning uh, against LSU the other night, and then you came in today. 
Was that like, did you tell Coach that you wanted to have a rematch, or what? Do you have come in with a chip on your shoulder? Just tell me about that mindset. Not really. I mean, I just it was the uh, the moment. Um, I mean, we kept kind of had an order of uh, pitchers there. We just uh, kept lining up. I mean, we went Tanner to start the game here, Chandler, and then Dalton, Harper, and then me. So um, nothing crazy. I mean, we've been doing this all year. Um, same thing over and over again. It was just happened to be my turn to kind of get the ball there in that moment. I mean, it felt great to um, redeem myself for sure. Coach, uh, what, what do you think about hosting a Super Regional for the first time at, at Southern Miss, and it, it, it could be Ole Miss? Hey, it's, it's special. You know, this is one thing that we've never been able to do. We can check that box now. We've only been a part of one regional or Super Regional, and that was in 09 at Florida down there, and certainly uh, – that was an exciting time. I'm the only one that's been a part of that, you know, on our staff. So I know the feeling, and that's what I told the team. You know, you understand the feeling of this regional, but the feeling of winning a super regional and being able to go to Omaha is even more special. So, you know, we just we have to take the process one at a time, and and certainly we were able to uh, we were able to achieve this goal, and that was one of our goals uh, was to to get in a regional. You know, I'm not going to say it was to host a regional. I don't think we ever get that specific. But, um, but to certainly get in a regional and win a regional so that we could move on. Sarge, you talked about after that Army win that you were hurting, that your back was, was giving you problems. And then, I mean, you kind of turned in. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but your best five-game stretch of the season. Talk about the mindset injured and having that kind of week. Yes, sir. You know, just going to the games, you know, it was never easy. I was hurting a lot. And you know, just um, coming early and getting the therapy I needed, you know, helped me out. But, you know, I think just helping, just um, just knowing that no pressure really, like, you know, I was hurt. And, you know, I, I know I needed to make, make, uh, make, do things right. And, you know, I don't know. I just, it's one of them things that I try to just let go and tell I need to be there for my team. And that's what I did. You know, Danny from Warren over there, he's the best teammate I could ever have. And, you know, every day just, Push through, push through. You know, he got me through it. The team, rest of the team, just said keep pushing through, and that's what we did. Uh, Sergeant, when when did you hurt your back? And also, I mean, has it changed your swing or anything like that in those last few games? Um, I just honestly, just I wasn't able to get full my full swing off. You know, and it just shortened me up. You know, I got a problem sometimes getting too big, too long. You know, when my back's hurt, you gotta stay short. And at the end of the day, staying short is the best thing to do. And that's, what I've been doing. Uh, for Sergeant and, and Lynch, coming off the field last year, kind of like Coach was talking about, leaving a bad taste in your mouth, how much sweeter is to win this in front of your home crowd and to do it by beating LSU twice after what happened Saturday night and for Stewart? I mean, it, I, it felt awesome. I don't know. I don't really have, uh, have many words to describe it. I mean, we obviously left a sour taste in our mouth and that's kind of the thing you don't realize is it didn't it didn't even start, you know, last year. It didn't start two years ago. For some of us, it started, you know, 15 years ago, uh, uh, kind of wanting this dream to happen. And uh, so, yeah, I don't really have any words. It feels amazing. I'll say, yeah, um, like last year, I remember, especially with this group, I mean, we have a lot of returners and stuff. Um, I remember – we, we lost the game on a strikeout there at the end of the game, and Ole Miss was celebrating and stuff. I mean, it's, it really does leave a bad feeling in your um, your mouth. And just kind of – it all starts in August when uh, you start your first workout, start your first practices and all that. So, uh, I mean, that kind of gave you motivation, and it leads to these moments like today. So. They said it best, man. You know, it does leave a sour taste in your mouth. And, you know, just sitting there watching them dog pile, it's just like, you know what, we're going we're gonna to get back up. We're, we're going to go do it again. And that's what we did, and we came out on top this time. For, for the players, um, it, it, it looks like it is going to be Ole Miss. They're, they're up big. I mean, what do you think that's going to be like? And, and are you guys eager to get to get another shot at that? Yeah, you know, it's awesome to be able to get another chance. Yeah, if they pull it off, you know, uh, especially with our crowd, and they're going to bring some people. It's going to be electric around here. And if, yeah, to get that rematch, it's going to it's going to be awesome, and we can't wait. Uh, Scott, I know the last five years there's been a last five years there's been a lot of success with this program, but at the same time NCAA tournament has just kind of felt like a few heartbreaking years and you kind of break through this year. I mean, was that sitting in the back of your mind? And and also, I mean, just kind of touching on already, but 
What's it feel like to finally break through as a head coach? You know, I mean, every year is uh, – let me just say, winning baseball games are tough. I mean, and uh, they're very stressful for both coaching and, and players. And, you know, fans, certainly, they get stressed out as well. But you got to do a lot of things well to win baseball games. Um, you know, and that one thing that this team has been able to do this year is they haven't had help from anybody. You know, they've done it themselves. You know, we didn't have help winning a regular season conference title. We didn't have help trying to get into a regional. We didn't have help, you know, giving the committee a reason or making them wonder if they ought to, uh, we ought to have a host. We earned every bit of everything that we've done this whole year. Um, you know, in years past, getting in the regional and, you know, going two and two or, or like last year, I think we went um, three and two, I think, in the, in the Oxford regional. And falling short, you know, certainly, uh, you know, it, it, it gets frustrating. But, you know, you, you recharge and you reset. And, and uh, that's, what it, that's what we do. I mean, that's our business. That's our world. And, you know, not everybody can, you know, come out on top, you know, every year. So it's special for us to, to do that this year. Um, you know, it's really special. And in the last year of Conference USA, I feel like that, that we go out not only on top as a regular season uh, uh, champions, but we also go out as the the only team to to win a regional this year and advance on. So, you know, I felt like when we ended Conference USA, we were on top. You know, there was a day when Rice, you know, Rice was on top of everybody, and we were all trying to catch Rice. But, you know, I really feel like over these past five, six years that everybody has been trying to catch us and 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 i say that because a lot of the coaches you know said that uh to us so we take that as a huge compliment you know i'm so proud because i know coach palmer is so proud that you know it's just it's just really frustrating knowing that you know that he could be here enjoying this because he really would enjoy this and uh, you know so um you know, for us to be able to get this done. And I know he's listening up there, but it's, it's special in that as well. Scott, what, what does it say, the, the way that you guys won these games, right? I mean, obviously you've depended so much and you're starting pitching all year. You, you kind of do two bullpen games and score a bunch of runs. What, what does that say about this team to be able to pull that off? Well, I, just, I think there was just a combination of stuff, you know? I mean, um, you know, we've... You know, there was some games where the the offense, you know, got us there, you know, and the pitching, you know, wasn't quite. And then there was games where the, the pitching held them there to give our offense a chance late. You know, today we saw just that seesaw back and forth, you know, with, with us taking the lead or they took the lead. We answered. We finally got the lead five to four on, on Slade's base hit. And then we go up seven to four on, on Gabe's two RBI base hit, and, and then the next thing you know, all of a sudden it's back 7-7, seven, seven, you know, and then we scratch for in the, in the ninth. Sarge gets a base hit. Uh, Slade gets a base hit. Does a, Sarge does a great job running from first to third to set up the sacrifice fly from Danny to give us the, the, the go-ahead run and then, and then watch this young man go out. And I think he threw nine pitches there in the in the ninth inning and three up three down and just they never had a threat you know and and we felt like you know in prior innings even in prior games in the late innings they were that threat but in the ninth inning Tyler didn't didn't let him didn't let him have a chance he pounded the zone with 95 went right at him and uh, they just they didn't handle it with what what we'd seen them do before so I'd like to speak on that if I can I think what it shows about this team is just how the guys that haven't gotten to play all year have just kept getting the work in and kept grinding it out. And Stu, I mean, Stu has, I don't know, I don't know the numbers, but Stu has, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 innings. The guy throws 95. He, he'd, be throwing, he'd be throwing a lot of innings for a lot of teams. Um, and he just kept working, man. And I, I, it's, it's a funny story about Stu. When we came in together as freshmen, and I remember just thinking, like, man, Southern Miss is a really good program. I don't know why we brought this guy in, because he was not very good. And his, uh, his <laughs> arm was hanging. And then, uh, and then he, had, he tore his UCL, and he had to get Tommy John. And 
that stinks. That's a really hard thing to, to happen. And he just – I've never seen somebody work so hard uh, for so long. And it was – it's been three years in the making. Stu didn't have a season he wanted to last year. It's, he didn't get to pitch as much as he'd like to this year. And it's literally just been three years of him working his butt off, waiting for this moment uh, for it all to come, come – uh, and happen. And just like Justin Storm, he didn't, he hasn't gotten as many as he wants to this year. He kept working and he got his chance. Brady Faust, he'd be starting in a lot of teams. You guys don't know how good of a hitter he is. He, he's a pretty good hitter. He was pushing Slade Wilkes for a spot in the lineup at the beginning of the fall. Um, and Brady comes in, I think it was Kennesaw State, immediately gets a dirt ball where he gets a third and we get a big run off it. It's, it's the guys that, that haven't gotten the chance all the time that just continue to knock on the door and continue to put the work in, even when you don't know when you're going to get your chance. Uh, for Coach Barry, if you can, uh, if it is Ole Miss and you guys next weekend, I wonder if you can put in perspective what that means for the state. You know, with putting it on this national stage, obviously Mississippi State won last year, and now a shot with you guys. Uh, the winner heads to the Omaha. Just put in well, perspective. Hey, look, look, there's no other state that loves baseball more than the state of Mississippi. I mean, you can look at total attendance for all three schools in our state versus the big three schools of any other state, and it's not even close. Uh, this state is passionate about baseball. Uh, Ole Miss fans are passionate about it, just like we are, just like Mississippi State. So the atmosphere is going to be – I think just like we just saw this weekend with, with the passionate LSU fans that were here as well. So, but the state of Mississippi, no doubt. I mean, that will be, uh, that will be national news and, and exposure for, for us. Coach, I know it was a rough go at it for Tanner to start this game, but did, did he beg you for the ball, you know, before this? What were the conversations with him like? Well, I never talked to him, you know, to be honest with you. Um, Oz told me last night, I'll leave it up to you. And, uh, I know that that's why I started him on Friday. You know, I wanted my guy, my number one guy to go on Friday to, to possibly, if we ever, if we got to Monday, that we'd have to give him, you know, maybe an inning or two. That would be the only guy that could do that of the starters if they covered their innings. And certainly he was, he was in, in line for that. And, you know, last night after the game, we're sitting around and, you know, I just kept going to Tanner, you know, if not for just 35 pitches. I don't know what he threw. He ended up going 45 uh, pitches on that. But I didn't want to bring him in in the middle of a game because that's not what he's used to. He's used to starting. He's used to having a routine. And I thought that was really important for him to continue to do the routine. I know when um, when we got to office this morning and, and I told Oz, I said, we're going with Tanner call him, and uh, I think Tanner had already told him, text him or called him and said, hey, I feel great. I want the ball. So um, we were we were glad to give it to him. Yeah, we gave up the, the, the three runs there in the bottom of the first, but I thought he did real well after that, getting us into the game. He had a clean second inning there, uh, and then he gave way there in the uh, in the third inning to, uh, to Chandler. Final two questions right here. Scott, I know there's a lot of mutual respect between you and Mike Bianco. It'll kind of be special for both of y'all, I would think. You know, we both came to 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 the state of Miss. Well, I came to the state of Mississippi in, in 1990. He, and then I came to Southern Miss in 20 or 2000. He came to Ole Miss in 2000. So we both came to. He came to to Ole Miss then. I came to Southern Miss. So. You know, we've known each other a long time, and um, and I have the utmost respect for Mike Bianco. I think he's an outstanding person. I think he's an outstanding coach. You know, uh, in my mind, he has built Ole Miss in that baseball program. Uh, there should be a statue outside there for him and what he's been able to achieve in, in building that that program up. And uh, so, yeah, I, I think, um, you know, we're, we're good friends, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm – if that's who we play, then certainly we'll we'll be uh, we'll be excited to play. Final question, Coach. I wanted to ask you about a couple of players first. Okay. Dustin Dickerson. It seemed like every game he did something amazing in the field. Today he had a double play that turned a, what would have been a two or three run home run into a solo home run. Can you talk about what he's done this weekend? Well, he's you know he and Will McGillis in the middle have been just really really good for us all year. You know these guys have been playing that middle now together, and and all the the whole infield. I mean, Danny at third, Dustin at, at short, Will at second, Sarge at first. I mean, it's they know each other. They know what's going to happen before before it happens. I mean, 
you know, earlier in that conference tournament, um, you know, uh, and I know we're talking about Dickey, but Will made a great play on a slow roller, uh, and it was against um, – who was that against? He backdoored somebody, full arm fake coming across. We were in a shift and caught the guy around in third. But he knew he was fixing to do it. I knew he was fixing to do it because I've watched these guys play together. But Dickey, you know, he's a special guy. He's, he's led us in hitting, you know, as far as average. He's up there in doubles. Uh, but, you know, I think the biggest thing is is just what he brings. He's, he's, he's cocky, you know. He – he loves to play the game, and, and that's, that's who he is, and guys feed off from him. But, you know, he's, he's surrounded by a lot of, a lot of good guys, and obviously two of them here are on the infield uh, with him and, uh, and Danny and, and Chris. To the, yeah, to the media, thank you all for all your coverage all week long. Coach Barry, Tyler, hey, I Sarge. Just, I want to say one thing. Mm -hmm. This tournament has been an outstanding tournament from top to bottom, our administration, Jack Duggan's sports information, all the hard work that they've done. Media has been 100% professional in everything that you've gone about with your business. I hope we've accommodated every, every need that you've had during this week. Custodial, there's a lot of, there's a lot of parts that go on to this to make it special. And, and trust me, our motto at Southern Miss is everything matters. And certainly it mattered to a lot of people this, this weekend. And thank you for making it such a special event for us. Hey, congratulations, and thank you guys for your time.